The index function is another powerful lookup function in Excel. You can use the index function to return a value in a table given a row and column number within that table. The easiest way to understand this function is to look at an example. So, let's get started. Here we have a table of data containing order information. Let's use the index function to return the value at row 1, column 1 within our table. To get started, let's enter the index command. As you can see, the index function takes three parameters. The first parameter to enter is the table or source of the data that the index function will use. You can provide either a range of cells or a named range for this parameter. For our example, we will enter the range of cells A2, D6. The second parameter we must enter is the row position in the table where the value you want to look up is located. It is important to note that this is the relative row position in the table and not the actual row number in the worksheet. In our example, since our table consists of cells A2, D6, row number 1 would be cells A2, D2, row number 2 represents A3, D3, and so on. Since we are looking for a value located in row 1 of the table, we will enter a value of 1 for the second parameter. The third parameter is the column position in the table where the return value can be found. Just like the second parameter, this value is the relative column position in the table and not the actual column number in the worksheet. A value of 1 indicates the first column in the table, a value of 2 indicates the second column, and so on. In this example, we will enter a value of 1 to indicate that the value we want to return is located in column 1 of our table. Now that we have entered all of the index function's parameters, let's complete the command to examine the result. You should see the value 10247 appear. This is the value that is found at the intersection of row 1 and column 1 in our table. This covers a simple example of how to use Excel's index function. If you found this tutorial helpful, please leave a like on this video and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great Excel tutorials.